This project is Parallel Flowers. They are flowers made from Parallel Weave, also known as Helms Weave. Um, we'll show you how to build one, and you can add, more, build more, add them together, you know, make five, seven, make a really floral necklace, um, or one alone, and I'll pull up one just so you can see what one alone looks like. One alone looks really nice just dangled off of any silver chain you might already have. Um, just make a flower. We'll add a couple of extra jump rings up at the top as a bale or a little snap-on bale if you've got one of those. Um, and slide through any chain that you already have. So we will now start building a flower. The rings to build the flower are, I'll pull the flower out of the way, You'll need 12 8 millimeter internal diameter, 18 gauge sterling silver jump rings. Again, I always use sterling silver. Um, that's explained in the Intro to Chainmail Basics video, um, why I use solid metals, either sterling, copper, um, what have you. But solid metals um, are my preference. Um, so if I scratch them, it's not a problem, because it just sort of mars away the finish. Um, sort of covers it up as opposed to something that's enameled or a color that's on top that would scratch off and continue to flake. So um, get yourself 12 18 gauge 8 millimeter internal diameter jump rings per flower. So if you want to make three flowers make sure you've got 36 or 37 or 38 in case something happens to a jump ring in the mix. And they're connected with 18 gauge 3.5 millimeter internal diameter rings, also sterling silver. Um, 3.25 millimeter would also work. 3.5 works fine, um, but if you want things a little more snug, 3.25 millimeters would work. It just means it's a little more snug and a little more tight for you to work with. Um, and if you're comfortable with that, it should work just fine. Um, I've used it before. I just had 3.5s in my stash for today. And for a flower, I'll pull the flower back in just so you can see what we've got here. So we've got 12 of the large jump rings and eight, two sets of four of the smaller jump rings. So you'll need eight of the 3.5 millimeter internal diameters for each flower that you make. You'll also need a, in this case it's a six millimeter Swarovski, but a six millimeter bead of some sort. Swarovski's the bicone fits in to the space very nicely. Um, this one actually isn't wired in place right now, so I can pull it out and show you. The center of this here um, really takes a bicone very nicely, or like a four or five millimeter round would probably fit. But I like the Swarovski, it's got a lot of sparkle. And a piece of sterling silver wire, an inch or so long for each flower. Um, 20 gauge is probably the easiest to work with, or 22 gauge. 22 gauge actually would be easier if you're new to wire working um, to work with, because it's less likely to crack your Swarovski when we wire it into place. So 20 or 22 gauge silver wire, like I said, about one inch piece for each of the flowers. Um, and now we will start building the flower base So to do that, I have my large jump rings, again 12 per flower, and my small jump rings, 8 per flower. Um, pliers for working with the jump rings are a flat-nosed pliers. Um, I like the slightly broader it's 2 or 3 millimeter tip um, than a tight chain nose pliers and then a bent chain nose, which I like. And again, I go into the tools um, in the Intro to Chainmail Basics. So look there if you've got questions about tools. Uh, my tool tips are covered in Tool Magic to prevent my edges of the tips of the tools from marring as much as possible. Um, death grips, if you're holding the rings too tightly, will still mar, even with Tool Magic on but it cuts down on the amount of just 
sort of background incidents. These larger jump rings can be closed and opened reasonably well um, with any pair of pliers, although I find I'm not as comfortable doing it with pliers. So a standard closing technique would be to close them well with pliers here. And that's actually a pretty nice close. 